Hello, welcome to IRZ Online. This video tutorial is intended for professionals who are responsible for the installation of the fuel level sensor in the carrier vehicle. We will consider the installation of the digital liquid level sensor C Sensor D107. We need a computer with the installed software for the setting fuel level sensor LLS C Sensor monitor, the equipment for the setting the fuel level sensor C Sensor unique the navigation terminal which is configured for operation with the fuel level sensor, the fuel level sensor in the full package, the container for the fuel discharge from the tank, and carrier vehicle. We need to carry out preparatory works before installing the sensor. Fuel from the tank should be drained into the prepared container. If the tank was used previously for any fuel, it should be steamed. To wire up the fuel level sensor with the navigation terminal, the connected cable should be laid in a crinkled hose supplied with the sensor. The cable is laid on the car frame by the power section in the vehicle cap. To avoid the melting of the cable, it shouldn't touch any moving parts or heated mechanisms. The assignment of the connector pin and the wire's color of the cable for the connection with the navigation terminal are listed in the sensor C Sensor D107 user's guide. You can find it on our website Section Support, Documentation, Fuel Level Sensors, C Sensor D107, User's Guide, Section Requirements for Cable Laying. You need the program C Sensor Monitor for adjustment of the sensor. This program is available for download in the section Documentation. Block C Sensor D107, the program for setting the liquid sensors. For the digital sensor and analog sensor, the program is different. To read the sensor value, we need the adjusted navigation terminal. You can find the special video with examples of the setup and installation of the terminal I own on our website. The selection of the sensor location requires special attention. The sensor shouldn't touch walls and septums of the tank and other standard equipment. The LLS locations is selected depending on the geometry of the tank. In our case, the car's tank has the regular shape. For that reason, we chose the geometric center of the tank for the sensor installation. That will reduce the measurement error of the fuel level at the time of the tilting, deceleration and acceleration of the vehicle. More details connecting with the selection of the sensor location you can find in the user's guide section Preparing for installation. Using the drill and the bimetallic hole saw, we made the hole in the tank with a diameter of 35 mm. Then this part should be carefully removed. Take care metallic chips, carved elements and other foreign matters don't enter the tank. The package of the delivery sensor includes two plates, metal and plastic. The choice depends on the hardness of the surface of the tank. If the tank has a curvature, it is recommended to choose the plastic plate. You should attach the mounting plate to the tank and mark the location of the five points of the fixing holes in the central part. The center hole should be firmed with the scotch tape to prevent chips entering into the tank during drilling marked holes. For a metal tank with a thickness exceeding 3 mm, make the hole diameter of 3 and 5 mm and use the counter skunk headed bolt supplied with the sensor. For a metal tank with a thickness less than 3 mm, or for a plastic tank, make the hole diameter of 7 mm and use the stack bolt supplied with the sensor. In our case, we use the stack bolts. Previously marked holes should be bored by a thin drill with diameter of 3 to 5 mm. Then use a drill diameter of 7 mm. Fit the stack bolts into the prepared holes using the rifter. The bolt should be screwed on the full length of the threaded rod. In register the bolt should be completely perpendicular to the plate of the sensor and the wall of the tank. Then you need to rivet out the stack bolt and remove the threaded rod. Then apply the sealer on the tank around the central hole. The thickness of the sealant bead should be 5 mm, the width 10 mm. Place a rubber spacer and the back plate on the top.
In order to determine the depth of the tank, the sensor is lowered into the central hole. Mark the cutting length of the sensor and add 20 mm to this length. Cut off the extra length using a hacksaw so that the shear plane becomes completely perpendicular to the axial axis of the sensor. Clean the cut here carefully from the metal burrs and chips. You will need the equipment for the setting sensor unit for adjustment of the LLS. Liquid level sensor is connected to the device sensor unit with a special cable adapter and then to the free USB port in your computer. The connecting cable is supplied with the C-Answer Unic. C-Answer Unic can work both with the interface RS485 and the RS232. Therefore, is no matter the breaker status RS232 or RS485 on the front panel C-Answer Unic. The configurator connection is considered in the C-Answer Unique user's guide, which can be found on the website section Help and Support, Documentation, section Liquid Sensors, Block, C-Answer Unique. In the main program window select Settings. In the opened window choose the COM port, which appeared when the C-Answer Unique device was connected. COM port number is signed by the system after the connecting C-Answer unit can be seen in the device manager. In the ports, COM and LPT. If it is necessary, change the speed of data exchange. The default password is A0. Here you can set a new one. The password should be a number combination of 8 numbers, from 0 to 9. Press Save. When the connection with the sensor will be installed in the main program window, connection indicator will light up in green and display the status connected. If the terminal is connected with only one sensor, put one in the main window in the program field network address. If there are some sensors, then every sensor should have a unique network address. In the mode no distribution sensor outputs data requested by the terminal. In the binary and character mode, data is transmitted automatically by a specified interval, which can be configured in the field below. If required, you can change the discretization by setting its minimum and maximum value. For a higher precision assessment of the fuel level fluctuations, in the tank there is the filtration function. Deactivate this function only when you use the sensor on the stationary objects. When you operate your vehicle in severe road conditions, Road terrain, mines, quarries, we recommend switching on the mode Extreme Duty Cycles. After all the settings, choose Apply Settings. Then you need to calibrate the sensor using Program C Answer Monitor. Calibration is performed with the fuel in which you will exploit the sensor. To calibrate the sensor, first of all you should put it in the full tank or in the calibration tub filled with fuel and record the measured value. Then pull the sensor out of the tank and record the value again. Another way to get the sensor registration from full tank is to flood fuel directly into the sensor probe and take responses. Preliminary, you should screw the supplied bolt in the drain port. Then fuel is poured into the probe. When the inscription stable level appeals at the main window, you have to press sensor calibration. In the window sensor calibration, you should press full. The value is fixed. Then fuel is completely drained from the probe, drain ports open. When the inscription stable level appears the main window, you should press empty in the window sensor calibration. Calibration completed. Carry out the final sensor installation. Fit the supplied coil spring for the cap on the cut here. Using the Allen key H2 and 5 spin bolts on the sides of the cap. Set the O-ring. The sensor should be inserted into the hole and turn unit it clicks.
The gauging is necessary to improve the accuracy of measuring of the fuel level in the tanks of a regular shape in which it varies disproportionately. Fill fuel in the empty tank portion-wise and fix the sensor responses. Thus calibration table is prepared. It is recommended to do at least 20 checkpoints. Select the fueling step by yourself. The more complex shape of the tank demands the smaller fueling step and more control points. Table of recommended fueling steps and the gauging of the tank are described in detail in the user's guide section Calibration of the fuel tank. Before the gauging you should carry out the verification of the dispenser using the gauging tank. Some fuel is drained from the container to the gauging tank. And if the responses of the dispenser and the gauging tank scale are the same, you can make the gauging. After the addition of each portion of the fuel in the tank and the advent of the inscription's table level push button enter to add a new table row with the same step. The program has the synchronizing function. The synchronization mode is switched on by button F4 and switched off by button F5. In the synchronization mode, the fuel level responses from the sensor are shown in the table automatically. If the full-scale sensor reading does not confirm to its settings in the end of calibration, you should add a line manually and feed the value of 1 liter more than the previous and feed the full-scale sensor reading in the line the sensor. The last stage of the installation is the sealing. The sensor sensor is provided the seal application on the measuring part of the sensor and on the connection cable. Put the locking screw on the measuring part of the sensor. Pass the sealing wire through the holes in the locking screw, tighten and try to avoid stacking of the wire. Delete the extra wire. The process of the seal installation on the connector is similar. Pass the wire through the holes and tighten it. Fix the ends by the seal. Installing the fuel level C answer is completed. We hope this video was useful for you. You can ask any question our support specialists and managers from the IRZ Online sales department. Thank you for your attention.